Hi, I'm Roger from One Foot in the Door, and today I want to talk about something that is extremely common with a lot of actors, a problem which we call acting backwards. Acting backwards means to act the end result of a scene from the beginning. So if at the end of a scene a character is pissed off, the actor tends to portray, portray that character pissed off from the very start, and so colored basically the whole scene with that one emotion, which should be the final one, should be the final result of the scene. This is extremely common, I see, that, I see it happen all the time, and is one of the main things I've, I have to focus on when I work with actors. Uh, now, I want to look at it specifically in smaller detail, because it manifests itself also in how people deliver their just single lines basically and so the overall idea of a scene is that something happens okay something happens so that means we have a first emotional state for the character then something happens and that something that happens changes the emotional state of the character if a scene is well written you might have more changes like that, although usually there is always one major one and then smaller ones throughout. Uh, a great actor, a good actor, is an actor who is what we call in the moment, and so someone who plays moment by moment and changes moment by moment. Now, when we look at the specifics of sort of each line, how do you deal with each single line, it's a constant reaction to what the other person is saying, for example, if it's a dialogue, okay? This leads to one of the rules that, <laughs> that I made up for screen acting, which is this. A line is not just the words, a line is reaction plus words. It's the two things together. And if you do it right, so actors who know how to do this right, especially, I'm talking on camera here, uh, theatre is slightly different, it still applies, but theatre acting is a lot more about the energy, about, you know, that's why you need to pick up your cues, you can't leave too many gaps in between each lines, because it has a different dynamics, okay? There are exceptions, of course, you can take pauses, but in general, you need more energy to go with that, uh, and more rhythm, in a way. Uh, in screen acting, especially in intense moments when we're in close-up, it's a different type of acting, uh, where we are more interested in seeing the inner workings of each character, so the emotions, the reactions, we want to see that. That's why this idea is so important, okay? So let's have a look at a clip of, from a, a movie, which is Mary Queen of Scots, and I just did a reaction to this uh, a few days ago, uh, so you can watch that video if you like. This will just look one tiny clip, okay? And I want you to focus on Margot Robbie's expressions and reactions, okay? Let's have a look. I am more man than woman now. The throne has made me so. But I have no enmity with you. Except to seed rebellion. And to deceive me time and time again. If you still seek my protection, you would do well to watch your words. I will not be scolded by my inferior. Your inferior? I am a Stuart, which gives me greater claim to England than you possess. I had this made. Because I wanted to present the best version of myself. I was jealous. Your beauty. Your bravery. Your motherhood. You seem to surpass me in every way. Now I see there is no cause for envy. Your gifts are your downfall. 
I think that was amazing from both actresses, San Sharon as well. Um, so you can see how each moment, and especially after that line, uh, my, you know, you're inferior, and then you know, I'm a student, I have a greater claim to the throne than you. Margot Robbie's reactions are so clear. She takes in everything that Sasha Ron just said, and that's what leads to this whole emotional journey. So she's not acting back backwards at all. She's in one emotional state at the beginning, line, reaction moves to a different state, and that's what leads to her next line. And then again, and then again. Sasha on the same thing, that beautiful reaction shot where she looks away and we feel almost the shame there, the, the, the love that she feels for Mark Robbie's character. Um, this is great acting, okay, it's amazing. It's tricky because it means you need to have the guts to take your time, sometimes, <laughs> not all the time, but you know, sometimes you have to take the time to give those longer reactions, to really allow yourself to, to feel, again, feel what I mean is to show us the character feeling those reactions. Again, whether you actually feel it or not, doesn't matter, is what comes across on the screen, right? So let's have a look at what, um, what happens when people don't do that. Okay, let's have a quick look. Seven years in McNeil. Yeah. McNeil's no country club. You looking to become a penologist? You looking to go back? I chased down crews. The guys are just looking to go back. You must have worked some pretty bad off crews. I worked all kinds. You see me doing thrill seeker liquor store holdups with a born to lose tattoo on my chest? No. Right. And I? I am never going back. You don't take down scores. That's my job. I do what I do best, take down scores. You do what you do best trying to stop guys like me and the story. So this is a movie called LA Takedown by Michael Mann. And a few years, well, a few years later after he made this, he remade it with Al Pacino and Robert De Niro and called The Heat, which is probably something you've heard of. Um, I have already analyzed in older videos the differences between these. But I want you now to focus on this idea of acting backwards. Now, this one performance we just watched is pretty flat. There are, there are no reactions really going on pretty much at any time. They're just really blank saying the lines and picking up their cues as if they were on theater. So what comes across are pretty wooden performances. Now, let's have a look at what Pacino and De Niro do with pretty much the same material. The script has been changed slightly, but it's the same scene. Seven years in Folsom, in the hole for three. McNeil before that. McNeil is tough as they say. You're looking to become a penologist? You're looking to go back? You know, I chased down some crews, guys just looking to fuck up, get busted back. That you? You must have worked some dipshit crews. I worked all kinds. You see me doing thrill seeker liquor store holdups with a born to lose tattoo on my chest? No, I do not. Right. I am never going back. Then don't take down scores. I do what I do best. I take scores. You do what you do best, trying to stop guys like me. You see how much they are reacting before the lines. They take their time to not only listen, but have a reaction, and that reaction leads to the next line, which is usually delivered in a different way, in a different tone than the previous one. Not only that, but their delivery is in general very interesting, very articulated. But we can always see this process of taking in, reacting, and then delivering. Then, of course, they break it. Like, uh, that no, I do not, that Al Pacino delivers has no reaction before. But it works because everything else did. So, as always, if you know 
a, if you mastered a rule, you can break it. So this is something which is extremely important to do and to, to master really, because as I said, it's not actually very natural whilst you're doing it. It comes across as very natural with the editing and everything else, but it's not actually that natural whilst you're doing that because you need to sort of delay slightly the timing of things uh, compared to what you would do on the stage or in a sort of workshop situation, okay? So uh, I go a lot more into detail with this. I've got an online course called Unboxing Screen Acting coming up and we will go very much into these kind of things. So check that out if you want. And if you have any questions or topics or things you'd like me to talk about, please leave them in the comment down below. And as always, please like, share and su subscribe and ring the bell so you get notified when I post a new video. Thank you very much. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.